Wafiji, welcome back to Kenya Cyclist Network. You people have been very amazing. Good feedback, which is a plus. So the last time we, the last time we we talked to you about riding solo, taking your bike, going on a solo trip. What do you need? What should you carry? How should you keep your safety? And today we're going to tell you what you need to do to maintain your bicycle. This is now the bicycle mechanics, and I have a special guy, one of the best bicycle mechanics in Nairobi, Kenya. His name is Ken. I'll be taking you to his shop. But before that, you know, when you cycle, the moment you get on a bike and start cycling, at the end of the day, your bike also needs attention. How do you give attention to your bike? Your bicycle is just like your girlfriend or just like your boyfriend. It also needs attention. So this is what we call a bicycle treat. Join me at Top Team Cycling Center. <laughs> So Wafini, welcome to Top Team Cycle and Fitness. To go up a place again, we want to learn about why you need to always service your bike and why you should take care of your bike always. Maintenance and everything, bicycle. So keep it up. My name is Kennedy Mwangi, uh, founder of Top Team Cycles and Fitness. And um, I'm briefly going to run you through uh, maintenance on your bike and uh, things you should know about your bike and how to maintain it and how to keep it in check. Um, so first of all, there are a few things you should know. There are things you do for every ride, there are things you do for every 100 kilometers you do, there are things you do for every 1,000 kilometers you do, and for 3,000 kilometers. So for every ride, they're usually simple, um, things you should check for and what you should uh, always aim to do for before you set out on a ride. So the first one being your tire pressure. So uh, you should always check for your tire pressures and al always check for your uh, tire brand, the, the, the PSI that is recommended for your tire. So uh, depending on the event, depending on the terrain, depending on uh, on uh, your bike, you know what pressures to run. So second is uh, before you uh, set out for a ride, always check for your brakes. Make sure they are, just hold them firmly, make sure they are holding and uh, make sure uh, they'll be able to give you stoppage power whenever you need them. So that's second and then uh, uh, also check for um, your saddle position and make sure your you in check from where you usually ride at and uh, ensure you get the right position. So that's it for every ride. Uh, and then there's always for every 100 miles or 160 kilometers, uh, there are a few things also you need to, to be keen on. So first on that, uh, you need to check for your chain. Uh, your chain needs to be clean and uh, a clean chain gives you uh, uh, a longer drive chain life in terms of when your chain is in check uh, your cassette and your crank will always be in check so that's uh, that's second that's uh, on uh, the 100 miles 
that's what you check for. Uh, also, you check for your brake pad now. Uh, you check with, for your wear, for your brake pad, in terms of uh, how warm they are and if you, if you need to replace them. So, also at this point, it's always good to give your bike a clean. Like after every 160 kilometers, you just give it a clean, make sure your drive ring is clean. Uh, while you're doing that, you'll also be able to notice a few things when you're washing your bike. So that includes uh, maybe cuts on your tires, uh, cracks on your frame, and uh, yeah, any, any issues to do with the cables, if they are fraying or not. So that's the perfect time to check for all this when you're washing your bike. So for the, for the 1,000 kilometers now, that's when you might need us or services of bike shops, that is. Uh, that one, we can, uh, like for us, we do a basic service, which covers uh, basically what is very important for your 1,000 kilometers ride. That is, uh, lubricating your cables and uh, making sure your, uh, both your wheels don't have any play in them or uh, they're, in proper, they're in proper condition. So that's what we will do for you in terms of a basic service. So that, that might in include uh, uh, a bike wash whereby we, in we inspect, uh, we'll inspect your chain. That is, there's a tool for checking chain wear where we'll inspect and we'll advise you whether to replace it or not. So after that, we'll also check for your cables. Uh, we we, we loop them up and make sure they're as smooth as possible. So that's, that's uh, for the 1,000 kilometers. Now for the 3,000 kilometers, now that's when you need a full service done on your bike, uh, whereby there are a few things you might need to replace. That is, you need to replace your cables and uh, your housings. Uh, also, uh, if you're running uh, sealed bearing wheels, they need to be either serviced or the bearings replaced. Uh, also, like uh, we do greasing of the whole bike, that, that's both wheels, front and rear. We lubricate the hubs and uh, we check for, we threw your wheels and then uh, your headset, we, we grease it up. We check again for, the, for your braking and your gearing uh, issues. So that's it for, that's an overhaul of when, when and how to maintain your bike. So there's every, for the, before every ride, for the 160 kilometers, for 1,000 kilometers and for 3,000 kilometers. So that's just a, a, a brief on what it takes to maintain and keep your bike in check. I'm hanging out with Ken and we have some frequently asked questions by you guys. So the first question I'll ask Ken is, is there a difference maintaining a road bike and a mountain bike? Um, yes, there is. So in terms of that, uh, mountain bikes tend to be abused a little more than road bikes in terms of uh, they go through the harsher terrains and they uh, take a little bit of more beating than a road bike would. So ideally, uh, your mountain bike might need more maintenance in terms of uh, uh, the time you take to uh, maybe replace stuff than a road bike would. But uh, more or less in terms of uh, drivetrain, it's basically the same. Uh, maybe a little difference comes in when it uh, when it's about uh, maybe tires, uh, disc brakes, and uh, all that. But uh, basically, everything else is basically around the same. Yeah. So what should should you check for mm -hmm. when you are maintaining your disc brakes? So ideally, before every ride, maybe try spin your try spin your wheels. Make sure they they rotate freely, and uh, if they're not, just check your if your rotor is bent, and. Uh, if you have know-how of how to do it, you can do it. If you don't have, then you can bring it to guys who know what to do about them. So these ones, sometimes they are repairable, but at times they are usually overboard, so you have to replace them. So that's it for basically the discs. Yeah, and most people have uh, issues with gears. Yeah. Why do you think that is so? Um, that is because sometimes people don't understand how to shift right. Uh, and uh, most guys cross chain and I think on your previous videos I think you'd covered about the gears and all so you can check it out on his channel and uh, make sure you learn about how to shift your gears and do it right Wafini so that's how it goes at Top Team Cycle and Fitness this is the best place for you to be for you to fix your bike you've seen Ken very pro in bicycle mechanics so 
whenever you want your bicycle to get fixed, one stop shop, top team cycle and fitness. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more information bicycle. Keep it locked. <laughs>